Hey Crafty Pandas, it's time to upgrade those makeup skills. Discover new ways to put those everyday cosmetics to use. Beauty tips and tricks, here we go. The day is coming to an end and it's time for Jessica to remove her makeup. Unfortunately, her wiping station could definitely use an upgrade. How come this isn't in the trash yet? It's time for a change. We'll need a big glass jar to store our round cotton pads. Prepare half a liter of water filled with a mixture of face soap and melted coconut oil. And another bowl with makeup remover liquid. Feel free to stir it up. Now go ahead and fill the jar to the top. Drop the cover and you're done. Jessica can now use her nicely organized and already prepared wet wipes to remove all the day's makeup, which would last her around a couple of weeks. Awesome! It works just fine. Best part? No more mess. This cold weather is definitely not helping out Emily's lips. Yikes, they are beyond chapped. Where is the lip balm thing when you need it the most? Nope, it's not there. Wait, I think we took it to class the other day. Oh yeah, here it is. No, no, no. Darn it, it's all ruined. What now? Hmm. The see-through pendant never got the picture it deserved. But maybe that's a good thing. First off, let's remove the dirty bits. Grab a small sauce bowl and cut down the top of the lip balm. Use a microwave for no longer than 30 seconds to melt it. Grab the smallest spoon you can find and drop a dollop into the pendant. Lastly, close the top and give it a minute to freeze. That's it. Feel free to hang it around your neck. In this case, the lovely pink color of lip balm will give a magical feel to the pendant. Not only it looks nice, but it will prevent your lips from getting chapped again, Emily. Brilliant, I love it. Jessica is having a laugh out loud with her girlfriend on the phone. Look at her messing up all her carefully applied makeup. It's just painful to watch. I actually felt it that time. Finally, she just hung up and has realized the makeup nightmare she just created. No worries, Jess. You might actually be able to turn this mistake into something cool and useful. Firstly, clean it up by cutting out the damaged sides. Using a craft knife, remove one of the lipstick tops and neatly attach it to another one. Now just melt it all together using a lighter. Just like that, it's finished. Amazing, Jess. You created a dual lipstick that will nicely transition both combined colors. Feel free to mix up any other of your lipsticks laying around. Wow, girl, that really looks stunning. Mwah. Emily and Jacob are on a date. While he's busy trying to call the waiter, Emily decides to amaze him with her fantastic looking hair. You go, girl, this is your time to shine. Yes, it's all rainbows and butterflies, until sadly, your stunning scene gets ruined by the stickiness of your glossy lips. Yikes, this is such a visual mood kill. Luckily, Emily knows a simple hack to remedy this issue. We'll just need a single ice cube. Give us a minute, Jacob. Simply go over your lips with the ice. The layer of cold water will remove the stickiness of the gloss, putting Emily's charm back in business. Wow, girl! Well, that's a dreamy look. Jessica is almost done with her makeup. Just one more step. Fill in the eyebrows. Whoops, it looks like our pencil is finished. And we don't have a spare one lying around. If only there was a quicker solution. Jess is going out and time is of the essence right now. We just ran out of eyebrow pencil and there's no sharpener to be found. Not sure if Jess is in the mood for an almond, but a hack sure would put a smile on her face. Well, apparently, the almond can be burned using a candle or a lighter and turned into the perfect substance for shading in our eyebrows. 
Best part, it's neat and comfortable to hold in your hand, just like a pencil. After a couple of minutes in, Jessica has managed to finish her makeup session. That looks exactly like the real deal. You're all set to go out, Jess. Emily is looking forward to the school dance tonight, and although she has plenty of time to get ready, a girl's hair routine begins with her morning shower. We search through the net for inspiration. And once the picture is found, the game is on, sister. Unfortunately, it looks like Emily has run out of hair rollers, which is what we need to curl all that hair. But Emily knows an alternative that will work just fine. We'll need a spare shirt, roll it all the way up, and connect the ends with a hairband. There we go, we just made a hoop that is going to go over your head. Grab one curl at a time and spin it through the hoop. Depending on the thickness of your hair, this might take a minute. Perfect. I kind of like how it looks on its own. Just put those earphones in and rock out to your tour routine. Not sure about you, but cleaning the house sure helps me clear my mind and be more productive later. Anyway, tick tock on the clock. <laughs> That was a seriously long playlist. Before we move on, you might want to change your wardrobe. Now, this is where the magic happens. Unpin those curls one by one and take off that t-shirt hoop. Lastly, tidy up a bit and you're done. Emily, those curls look gorgeous. Jaws will definitely drop once you walk onto the dance floor. Jessica is about to go out to a party with her friends. Although she's done putting on her colorful makeup, these things do get messed up during an active night. And not everything can fit inside tiny and cute looking purses. How about we grab the essential colors instead? We'll need several cotton swabs. Just scoop up the desired eyeshadow colors. Find yourself a sturdy mint case and stack all of them inside. You'll probably find a dozen other small makeup accessories already inside. <laughs> well, what do you know? No need for a whole paintbrush palette. Once on the dance floor, there's a chance that you or someone else will mess up your makeup. And sometimes smudged makeup is even worse than not having any on. Feel free to take out your color-packed cotton swabs to refill those damaged corners. They are already prepared, and it only takes a minute to fix your eyeshadow. Just like that, get back out on the dance floor, girl. Another day, another makeup challenge. Emma is about to draw her eyebrows for the first time and give them a sharper look. She'll need an eyebrow pencil for that. One try after another, and all of her attempts have left her with sad-looking eyebrows. No worries, Emma. You're smart enough to figure out an alternative. First, grab yourself a worn-off polypropylene folder and cut out a small stencil of the desired eyebrow shape. You can find many different brow shapes online. Now place the stencil over your eyebrow and use a pencil to draw them out. Wow, girl, those eyebrows are sharp. I love it. Oh wow, it looks like Emma arrived with her makeup slightly overdone. And it looks like she has no idea what's going on. There is nothing wrong with your hair. You might want to check yourself in the mirror, girl. You seem a bit more tanned than usual. Ahem, this is definitely not your natural color. Don't worry, sister. It's not the end of the world. First of all, let's get rid of that awful makeup. Start by testing out the colors you have by brushing them on your neck. The right color will be the one with a slightly darker shade than your skin. Now, apply that foundation. Awesome! I think you're ready to show the girls how you did. We're back for round two. Oh wow, Emma. That looks really well done. This color fits your skin tone perfectly. You can check out the comparison, which looks night and day. Emma continues to step up her makeup routine. 
At the moment, the eyeshadow step is a bit of a challenge for her shaky hand. Nope, it doesn't look like anything in the picture we found online. Hmm, I think we'll have to improvise. This eraser is just what we need. Firstly, use a craft knife to slice the very end of the eraser. We'll need just a tiny cheese piece. Take out your glue gun for a single drop of hot glue and squeeze this cheesecake with an empty pen in order to attach it. That's about it. Now, feel free to dip the tool inside your eyeshadow and stamp the corner of your eye with the cheesy piece. Fill in the rest with a brush and you're done. Wow, that's an amazing final result you got there, Emma. Hey panda lovers, I hope you enjoyed these beauty hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.